cute. Look how fluffy you are. Mm. You fluffy birdie. You're very cute. You're being very nice. All the people are going to see how cute you are. Look at that. Look how pretty she is. She's amazing. People, I don't know what your resident blonde Asian and today we have a special guest this is Miss Lemon as you can see she's enjoying her snacky snacks and today we're gonna do a review on HM bird toys I actually met the owner his name is Jarrett at a local bird fair around here and you know I haven't really been paying attention to my channel however I do like to shine spotlights on local small businesses so I thought, you know, I'm actually in the process of making a PVC pipe play stand for my burbies. I have two finches, Clark and Templeton, and a parrotlet named Miss Lemon. She's right here, just, I think the glass table is, she's not used to seeing it without anything on it, so she's very amused. I first found a shop on Etsy, and then I saw that they were local. And I said, oh, that's super cool. And then at the bird fair, they were there. And I actually bought like a perch with like some lollipop sticks that were coming out of it. And I planned on swinging around again, but I just, I don't know what happened. I think we just started walking around and wasn't that big of a place. But before you know it, I had, we had to go. So that was unfortunate. However, I was able to buy quite a few toys actually because they were having a sale. And... What better way to furnish a play stand and their cages with fun, colorful toys? Jarrett started HM Bird Toys because he just liked to make toys for his green cheek conure. And his company stands for fun, safe, cost-effective bird toys. And, you know, I, I, this is, I'm sorry, this is like my favorite because she's never been this close to me on the table like this before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do an unboxing. Now, I want to say I'm no professional I'm just the little lady who has birds and I want the best enrichment for them and I like things that look super cool. Sometimes stuff at the store just seems too stocky stock if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to open the box. I haven't opened it yet and we'll just, I'll go through it, describe it, see how it makes me feel maybe and we'll go from there. Okay, as promised, we're going to open this box. Miss Lemon, are you helping? So we're opening the box. Are you gonna help? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. It looks so fun. Look at how full this is. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just gonna pull them out one at a time and we're gonna go through it. Randomly selected. I love the colors. This is a toy, I believe it's Lufa. There's like Lufa and then like twine different colored stars in here if you look at it. I like how well made it is. Like it's crazy that this is handmade. I don't know if that's a compliment or not if you get what I'm saying but it's really fun and it's light. I like how light it is. Okay next. This one is super fun. Ooh okay so these are like hearts. They're like viney hearts in different colors rainbow colors with some like naturally linked chain and i believe there's like a, a metal like kebab in here and so you have like the heart viney things with the with wood beads like in between them oh someone likes it lemon approved and i picked this one because it's just really nostalgic i just really like hearts that's my favorite shape i know that's like kind of lame but i've just always liked hearts and it's just really fun to look at oh next is really what i wanted to get while i was at the bird show but i just didn't make that loop around this is a perch with toys on it like who that is so much fun why wouldn't you want to play with this all the time all the pieces are natural so this is like they're all different kinds of wood. On the website, it says what kind of wood is what. However, this, this the perchy part is considerably like harder wood than these things. 
these jimmy bobbers that just like spin i don't know i'm so like i want to play with this yeah th so this wood is considerably softer you got the good old wood bead right there and then your typical like screw on thing i'm actually gonna probably not use these components i'm just gonna drill a hole and just see how it goes from there to see if i could put this on the play stand i don't know why but for some reason this like i mean i'm not gonna eat it but it makes me want some sort of like wafer type of confectionery dessert i don't i don't know this toy makes me feel fancy for some reason i don't know why so there, ha there are these palm leaf like flowery things and again you have the classic rainbow colors in here which I mean I've noticed with anything if this is natural I'm assuming that the dyes are probably natural I'm very impressed with how uniform the color is if that makes sense and also how it's not so blah. like it's, it's very very vibrant it's when I look at the color I know what it is it doesn't look faded or anything like that and then we also have the the links out of i don't know what this is made out of i'm just, it's clearly something natural but the for some reason when i was holding up the other toy lemon was going at it yeah it like kind of reminds me of like if burger king was super fancy and not like burger kingy and they had desserts right and they made a macaroon okay and then they made like a ultimate macaron. That's what this reminds me of. Ooh, next up are some foot toys. I'm gonna have to open this. So these were foot toys that I purchased, but I think this is more? I, I'm not sure if I even got these. I'm gonna have to check the invoice, but I'll talk about them. Okay, so there are two kinds. So these ones are plasticky, so I'm gonna just Put that in a pile there and these have wood like disc beads again in the rainbow colors these seem to be let's look no they're the same size it's just that these beads like this has a larger diameter than like this bead and there's like a bead here for like some gription action i'm guessing or poking at action not quite sure and this one these ones okay okay i have them better organized these ones are plasticky and they have like they look like round beads that were smushed i like to do that. it reminds me of mochi okay there are there's four beads on each oh these are so cute and colorful like you could almost make them like earrings i'm not, I'm not gonna steal toys from my birds again it's giving me very tropical vibes very fun I don't see on the link, I'm assuming that's why this bead is anchored in place. Maybe they there's a way to like, maybe this is where the opening was and that's how they got the beads on here and then they put this in place. But it's not going anywhere. Well, actually no, it does rotate. Yeah, I don't know how they did that, this is magic. And then the last set of these like beaded foot toys, they have different kinds of beads. So all three have, oh hi, did you come back to join me? Lemon came back, but I don't know if she's going to get on the thing. She was at the bottom looking like, okay, that's fine. She's on my shoulder now. Hey, do you want to, and she bolted. All three sets have this like textured bead. It almost looks like a, some sort of berry. And on this particular set, they have wavy beads and flower beads. It's funny how I'm getting sucked into this. Like I get how birds love this stuff. But these ones have seven beads on them. And I, my favorite, I've seen these flower beads before, but these like ripply beads are really fun to look at. I remember these foot toys being on there for a very, very nice price. And by nice, I mean not super high. And now having them in person, I'm, I'm just, I'm really impressed. Okay, this one I'm really excited about. This just looks, okay. When I saw this, there's another toy that I actually did purchase that looks similar to this or the same concept, but I just liked how this one looked because it reminds me of like some sort of like satellite in outer space, like beep, beep. Again, we have like the, like the sturdy wood in the middle and we have these pegs here. And from what I read, once the bird goes through the pegs, you could start using this for uh, treats, for foraging. And then there's discs on here as well. They're wooden discs. 
softer wood. And then wooden beads, they're all dyed in the fun colors. And there's um, like, I'm not sure what kind of rope, but it looks very natural and these toys are natural. I saw this and I was like, this is definitely going in the shopping cart. So it's like a kebab, okay? And there's all, the, all of these pieces are wood and they're all relatively soft. I think the, the wooden beads are a little harder and then there's a cute little bell at the bottom. I like this because it just like, it twists and it just looks cool. Like all these toys just look super cool and shade and no shade. Sometimes like the toys at the store get kind of like, oh, that's a bird toy. You know what I mean? Like obviously, I mean, I don't know. Is it obvious that this is a bird toy? I mean, I guess I couldn't use it as a keychain or anything. <laughs> the design of the toys, like at least everything that I've seen, they're just so same but different. It's like they took the idea and then they made it just that much more fun looking and that much more classy. My co-host is back. Again, I'm really impressed with how these are dyed. I mean, that's probably like a trade secret that I wanna know, but I'm not gonna know because it's a secret. You know what I mean? Do you wanna play with it? I think she's gonna ding the bell. You wanna ding it? You like it? This was made for you. It was made with love, Lemon. Miss Lemon, Lemon. She's playing with these H&M bird toys. It's just H&M bird toys. H&M is a clothing store. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This one looks very similar to the last toy I just showed you. And yes, they look very similar. However, this one is smaller. Between the Finch's cage, Clark and Templeton, and Lemon's cage, she also has another cage at my boyfriend's house and a sleep cage. And it's important to give your birds variety. Again, I'm no expert. I'm just saying that, I mean, you don't like wearing the same sweatpants every day. I mean, it, even during the panini, you know, you wanted something different. So I just wanna be able to give my birds variety. And sometimes it's just nice to have something different than what you find at big box stores. So this wood is very similar to the one on the other kebab. And there's, they have two small wooden beads at the top. And then we have a nice little jingle bell at the bottom, but there aren't those beads in between the colored layers, which still makes it look really chic, you know? I just can't get over how good these things look. Do you wanna play with this one? Miss Lemon's playing. That's the song, it's her theme song. I sing it to her a lot. She seems to be interested in these, although she wasn't around when I was looking at the other ones, but she seems to like these bells and like these things with slats on them. Okay, the next toy is another like, I don't know what these are called, but it's, I, I call them up and down toys because they're like up and down. They have wooden discs as well as the wooden beads in between each disc layer. It kind of reminds me of a spine, a super kawaii spine. I bet you if you cut me open, this is what my spine looks like. We have a kebab in the middle, skewering all these things together, and then there's a fun red bell here. Also, I wanted to mention that all the hanging toys have these like bird safe clips. I don't know, I just get so excited when I see her play with things. Oh man. This one's super cool. Again, this might look familiar. So this is that bigger peg toy I was talking about in relation to the little satellite one here. This is completely wooden. The pegs are wooden. The little discs are wooden. Again, softer wood than whatever the blocks are. I believe it's pine. I should stop guessing, I, but I do believe this is pine. And what's cool about this is that they rotate among their own axes because they're on a kebab, right? And oh, I just, I love the color like gradation as it goes down to the purple and this, and this purple bell is super fierce. I'm planning to put this one on the play stand because I do let Clark and Templeton out and I definitely could see them just like perching on these things when they make a stop at the play stand. And the bell is bigger in relation to the other bells, but that makes sense because this toy is pretty large. Like this is my face. One of the pegsies came out, but I mean, that's what these things are for. So once the pegs come out or the bird rips them out, you could put treats in here again for foraging. Ooh, low key, Starburst. Who doesn't want a good Starburst? I appreciate that. At the bird show when I bought that other toy, he actually put in the bag um, these fun size Starbursts. And I probably should look at the invoice. 
Okay, so I just consulted with the invoice and for full transparency, I did not purchase these. I know I put them in my cart and I took them out and put it, you know how that goes. It's a little like tango that you have when you're shopping for anything. But I did not purchase these. These were actually included in the box, which I number one really appreciate. And I'm glad because they're so fun and at least I can share with people like what they look like and how great they are. Okay, now we have the last toy, which honestly kind of kicked off my whole i i need to to get it together and make a play stand and i just i love this one on the website it's actually pictured in green and yellow but i'm actually excited that i got red this is a foraging toy it's made out of like a pvc pipe and these cute teddy bears like oh my goodness they're like made out of like a, a plasticky material but they're kind of translucent, which makes them look super fun. I like kawaii stuff, like Hello Kitty is my favesies. So when I saw this toy, I was like, oh, we need to get this. And it has like these beads with holes in them, which could be good for foraging and just like, so they could get their little beaks in there and just, you know. And we have these like flap -roonies. I'm not a technical person. You could put stuff inside here, you know, all the stuff that you didn't know you needed, but you needed if you were a bird and you <laughs> they're not putting in there you put stuff in here and then they play with it and get through it and this is just like a big pvc elbow pipe this is going on the play stand for sure i want to order this in other colors but i know that's not an option and i'm i'm not here to put it on blast it's like you make what you have with what you have but i am very excited that i got red i think it'd be really cool if they had like uh like a pink and like a green like a watermelon vibe but i'm yeah this this toy is what i saw that started this whole you know what let's do this and i also i just wanted to see what the bears were made out of the bears are so cute all of this is just so cute like i can't get over it and there you have it that's all the bird toys i got i know it was a lot but i always like to support small businesses i think it's just a great thing to do especially when you know, something as, I wouldn't say it's obscure, but kind of, as obscure as bird toys crosses your path and it's super cute and you have a need for it. I don't know. I just thought it was a good idea to show people like what they look like because it's really easy just to order things online and this being a local company, it's not like, I'm not sure, maybe they are in some stores, but I just thought I would do a review because they're fun. Miss Lemon is very thankful here and I know my benches Clark and Templeton will be very pleased with their new variety of toys so Miss Lemon and I want to give Jarrett from HM Bird Toys a hello and a shout out thank you so much for enriching all of our lives I will be sure to leave all links to all the toys I purchased downstairs in the basement and if you think Miss Lemon is super cute because she's starting to fall asleep in my hand, which is my favorite of all time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, leave a comment in the basement if you want, and we'll see you around when I see you around.